The walk starts at Wantage at the Market Square. Here's Alfred the Great statue. After a maze of suburban streets, the walk goes along the towpath besides the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal. Or what remains of the canal. A bit further along the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal. This canal was completed in 1810 and was originally 53 miles long and ran between Semington near Trowbridge and Abingdon. It was designed to connect the Kennet-Navon Canal and the Thames at those points. Following the collapse of an aqueduct or part of an aqueduct through traffic ceased in 1901 and the canal was abandoned completely in 1914. Still further along the towpath now heading towards the village of West Shallow. St Lawrence's Church, West Shallow. It's reputed to have one of the oldest bells in England. It's probably cast around 1290. Now heading across fields to the west of West Shallow. The way ahead is clearly shown in the grass ahead. The walk rejoins the towpath of the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal for a short section. There's a clear view of the canal. It seems to be full of algae. After a section along a road, the walk goes across these fields towards Childry. And the canal, it might be called Wiltshire and Berkshire, but we're in Oxfordshire here. Amazing. St Mary the Virgin Church, Childry. A great view of the tower of St Mary the Virgin Church, Childry. Here's the front of St Mary the Virgin Church, Childry. Inside St Mary the Virgin Church, Childry, that window tells the story of the life of the Virgin Mary. There's the Childry Village sign and there's the village pond. Here's the Hatchet Pub, Childry. There's the pub. After a couple of bridleways out of Childry, the walk joins this byway called the Green Road. Further along the Green Road, some decent views open up to the left. And that's now looking back along the Green Road, the way I've come. After a stretch along the B4001 Main Road, the walk takes this footpath up a steep hill heading towards the Ridgeway long distance footpath. In the next clip I'll show you the fantastic view looking back the way I've come. We're looking at the way ahead here and 
here is the view looking back the way I've just come. Didcot Power Station in the distance there. There's an interesting sign, a typical sign of our times. The walk passes this tumulus or burial mound. Now at the Devil's Punch Bowl, approaching the Ridgeway. Another view of the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's not obviously not the famous one in Sussex. This is Oxfordshire. Now joining the Ridgeway Long Distance Footpath. And that's the way ahead. You can see a bit into the Devil's Punch Bowl. Ridgeway crosses Grimps Hill Road. The walk turns left off the Ridgeway at this point towards the village of Letcombe Bassett. That's the Ridgeway continuing and the walk goes through that jungle to the stile. Just as I turned off the Ridgeway I came across this memorial stone. Descending to Letcombe Bassett, there's a great view ahead. Now at the road that leads into Letcombe Bassett. Here's a footpath sign pointing back the way I've come. St Michael's Church, Letcombe Bassett. The walk leaves Letcombe Bassett along this footpath, sign postage Ridgeway Circular Walk. And the way ahead is up there. Now heading along the path towards Letcombe Regis. Heading towards Letcombe Regis, there's this Ramblers group ahead of me. A type of footpath sign normally found in Berkshire, but this is Oxfordshire. And the way ahead, down there. St Andrew's Church, Letcombe Regis. The Greyhound Pub, Letcombe Regis. Now on the final footpath, heading towards Wantage. And that's the way ahead. Still on the path, heading into Wantage. In the foreground, a war memorial. And in the background, St Peter's and St Paul's Church, Wantage. And there is Wantage Market Square and the end of the walk.